Kids should build strong bones. You know that during teenage years, the growing bones absorb more calcium from the blood than any other time. And in early adulthood, um, the body stops accepting calcium deposits. And not long after that, the body gradually loses calcium. You know the recommended daily calcium intake for your child? Do you know what are the good sources of calcium? What to do when your child is not getting any of them or is not getting enough? Well, we will talk about these things in this video. Hi, I'm Dr. Christine Albaquiat. I'm a board-certified pediatrician, and my mission is to help moms and dads deal with child health problems to raise happy and healthy kids. Building strong bones. When we think about calcium and building bones, we think about milk and milk products. Well, milk and milk products provide three-fourths of the calcium in a typical American diet. What also provides calcium are broccoli and collard greens. However, these vegetables also contain substances that impair the body's ability to absorb calcium. Now, what is the recommended amount of daily calcium? Well, boys and girls who are aged 9 to 18 years of age are recommended to take 1,300 milligrams of calcium per day. This is equivalent to four and a half um, eight ounce glasses of low fat milk per day. Well, most teen girls fail to meet this requirement. According to the survey uh, done by the U.S. Department of Agriculture, most teens uh, give up drinking milk uh, but instead drink other sources of drinks such as soft drinks. What to do then? We can give calcium supplements. The NIH or National Institute of Health supports the use of calcium supplements for young people who do not get sufficient calcium in their diets. For optimal absorption, no more than 500 milligrams of calcium should be taken at one time. You can ask your pediatrician about the appropriate uh, dosing and dosing schedule for your child. Now, what are the good sources of calcium? Well, milk and milk products are always good sources of calcium, as well as foods prepared in milk such as soup and pudding. Another good source of calcium are cheeses, any kind, Swiss cheese, cheddar cheese, cottage cheese, and yogurt is also a good source of calcium, as well as canned fish with, dry, with uh, soft bones such as anchovies, um, sardines, and salmon, dark leafy green vegetables such as kale, mustard greens, and bok choy, tofu if it has been prepared with calcium sulfate, as well as calcium fortified juice, bread, and cereal. Now, what are the other ways of building strong bones? Before we talk about that, do you have a newborn or you're an expectant mom or dad and you're worried about soothing a crying baby, how to go about breastfeeding, how to deal with your baby's tummy problems? Well, I have an online training with the link provided in the description section, do check out my five newborn care strategies. What are the other ways of helping your child build strong boats? Drinking milk and milk products is one, and also drinking foods that are rich in vitamin D. Vitamin D is important because it helps absorb calcium from food. We all get vitamin D from sun exposure. But if we do not get enough vitamin D from sun exposure or from the diet, your child might need a vitamin D supplement. Even babies may need a vitamin D supplement unless, of course, they're taking a formula of 32 ounces of formula per day. Um, you can ask your pediatrician about how much vitamin D supplement your baby needs. We've mentioned sun exposure, but too much sun exposure can be harmful for your child as well because it increases the risk of skin cancer. 
So you need to protect your child's skin as well by using sunscreen and clothing and shade. Is your child not getting enough calcium? Well, you can give calcium fortified milk, juices, bread, and granola bars. Some of these food um, contain so much calcium that by just a single serving, your child might already be halfway through his or her daily calcium needs. Is your child not a milk drinker? Well, you can disguise milk by adding it to soup, pudding, um, sauces, and stews. You can also give chocolate flavored milk. Your, your child might like that. Um, what are the alternatives to milk? You can also give cheese and yogurt. What else can you do? Encourage your child to stay physically active. Weight-bearing exercises can do good for your child's uh, bones. It builds denser and stronger bones. Um, any activity that keeps your child moving will do, such as jogging, dancing, walking the dog, jumping, or bowling. Hey, if you like this video, watch my other videos where I teach you about other child health problems.